An interesting problem arises with the realization that our thoughts create our reality. If we think a certain way, how can we ever manifest something different? The trick, as with so many areas of life, is to take baby steps in changing the way we think. Now, it's said that a journey begins with a single step, and this is no less true than the journey of changing our thoughts. In the overwhelming outlook of changing the reality we experience, it can be frustrating to know what to do. But the good news is, it's easier than you think. First off, just the desire itself to manifest something new is a tentative baby step in exactly that direction. As you look at different tools, be they affirmations, affirmations, TAT, EFT, etc. Well, those explorations into how you might change your life seed the very changes you wish to impart. So much for worrying about how to get started. Just wanting to figure it out at all is already that very start. So subsequently, the more you think about how you might approach the issues, especially how to change the subconscious thoughts you think, you actually begin to whittle away at the old patterns and habits. As your conscious mind works through the idea of changing your thinking, you're actually changing your thinking. In the beginning, it's still a manual process, but given enough repetition, the new thinking will overwrite the old habits, and it will become automatic. You will have reprogrammed your subconscious. The potential gotcha here is that it's important to not get caught up in worrying about it. I recently heard the expression, worry is prayer for what you don't want. And wow, did that ever strike a chord. It's so true. Worry serves to energize exactly that which you don't want because worry is simply thought that has been charged with negative emotion. So instead of fretting about change, just think about it. Worrying only serves to keep us focused on potential downfalls. It distracts us from our desires and our goals. It keeps us firmly aligned with limits. Now, if the first words out of your mouth tend to be, yeah, but you've got an alignment problem, you're aligned with worry, doubt, and uncertainty. None of those will help you get to the finish line. Instead of worrying about how to change your thinking or how to manifest something, try just asking yourself what you should do. Yes, really. Why is it so easy to create what I want in life? That, friends, is an affirmation that will kick off an entire stream of consciousness and subconscious processing that, if you're paying attention later, will begin to reap the rewards of opportunity. That single question will help you in more ways than you can possibly imagine. Here, context and perspective are everything in life, and how we choose to phrase our thoughts is more important than we can imagine. Now, words by themselves have no meaning, but there is unimaginable power behind the intention of our thoughts and how that intention aligns with the words to which they are bound. And speaking of alignment, there is remarkable mirroring of behavior in the human brain that matches physics' law of attraction. With that in mind, hypnotists, hypnotherapists, and NLP practitioners are well aware of our subconscious mind's seeming inability to deal with negative verbs. This inability has a remarkable result. The weight would normally be attributed to the negative of the verb. It is placed, however, on the verb itself. The negation is entirely lost. So this changes the focus from don't want neighbors to want noisy neighbors, for example. And this is why it's vitally important for you to always phrase your words to state what you want instead of what you don't want. I worked as a technical writer, and using affirmative verbs is considered good style in that genre of writing. As such, it's easier for me to work in positive terms than for many others. Many people are used to ranting against or about things, focusing on their dislikes as unspoken contrast to their likes. And as the aforementioned hypnotherapists, etc., know well, the subconscious mind is extremely literal. When you strip away the negative part of the verb, leaving only the positive verb and action, the subconscious sees only that. 
the tacit unspoken likes are simply not a part of the subconscious process. The conscious mind spoke and the subconscious mind listened, selectively stripping out all of the negatives along the way. The law of attraction, amazingly enough, works in exactly the same way. Baby steps and positive phrasing. Practice those and you'll be well on your way to getting the results you want. If you catch yourself drifting back into ranting, worry not. That's all a part of the process. Just correct yourself as you catch it happening and carry on. In due time... Are you again? In due time you'll find that you no longer need to correct yourself. Living Intentionally offers energy healing and wellness coaching sessions. If you'd like to discuss your next steps for your wellness journey, click on the link to the website below and contact me. And if you like this video, tap that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Much love, namaste. Really? All right, well, can I, can I just finish this? I, I, I just... <laughs> Shut up.